Good evening, everybody. Good evening, teacher. Okay. Um, hi, are you ready for the final class? Yes. yes. Okay, great. Okay, we're going to begin. Just a moment. Uh, just give me a second as I get things ready here. Mm -hmm. Just a moment. Okay. All right. As usual, I'm going to, well, first I'm going to uh, go full screen and I'm going to share the screen with you. So, There it is. Okay, and next, as usual, I'm going to call your names for the attendance. Let's do this. Attendance control. So when you hear your name, please let me know. Let's begin. Alejandra Cristina Magaña Campos. Present. Thank you. Astrid Michelle Flores Escobar. Present. Thank you. Carlos Alfredo Ramos Aila. Present. Thank you. Claudia Yanet Iraeta Martinez. Good evening, teacher. Present. Good, e good evening. Ever de Jesús Candray Montano. Present. Thank you. Gabriela Stephanie Cortez de Martinez. Gabriela Stephanie Cortez de Martinez. I'm here, teacher. Thank you. Gladys Imelda Sanchez. Present teacher. Thank you. Jasmine Vanessa Sosa Juarez. Jasmine Vanessa Sosa Juarez. Jose Luis Hernandez Flores. Present teacher. Thank you. Josue Isaías Najarro. Present teacher. Thank you. Lilian Estela Portillo Garcia. Present teacher. Thank you. Luis Fernando Enrique Herrera. Present teacher. Thank you. Manuel Aristides Murcia. Present. Thank you. Was that Manuel Aristides? Yeah. Present. Ah, okay, okay, sorry. Thank you, Manuel. Um, Olivia Emanuel Osorio Panameño. Present teacher. Thank you. Paola Maria Alvarado Cerón. Present. Thank you. Rosa Esmeralda Hernández de Flores. Rosa Esmeralda Hernández de Flores. Present teacher. Thank you. Sandra Cecilia Munguía. Sandra Cecilia Munguía. Present. Thank you. Walter René Quintanilla González. Walter René Quintanilla González. Jenny Maritza Sánchez Flores. Present teacher. Thank you. Now I'm going to call again. Only two people didn't respond. So Jasmine Vanessa Sosa Juárez. Jasmine Vanessa Sosa Juárez. Walter René Quintanilla González. Walter René Quintanilla González. Now, okay, let's do this. Well, again, everybody, welcome. This is Inglés Preavanzado Módulo 2, and that's me, Ivan Doñan, at your service. Once again, this is session 16, the final session, and today is February the 9th of 2023 or 2023. So, what are we going to do here? This is the objective of section 5.6. What is that? By the end of this section, participants will be able to predict future use in will, future continuous, and future perfect. Okay? So, what is that? Take a look. 
First, we have this predicting the future with will. Okay, this is something that we mentioned yesterday. Sorry, but we didn't we didn't finish. Okay, so uh, the first part is you use will to predict future events or situations. Example: Computers will recognize any voice command. You won't need a keyboard. Okay, so this is for predictions about the future. Predictions about the future. What about the next one? You use future continuous to uh, predict ongoing actions. Okay, that means an action in progress in the future. All right. Example: People will be living in cities. In cities, I'm sorry, under the ocean. And finally, you have future perfect. And what is all future perfect about? Future perfect, you use it to predict actions that will be completed by a certain time in the future. Okay. Example, within 20 years, scientists will have discovered a cure for baldness. And by 2050, we will have set up human communities in Mars. Okay. So, as usual, you know, this is just the explanation that you will find in the manual. All right. But uh, just a moment. But um, I have some extra information right here. So I want you to pay close attention to this part because it's not in the manual. It's not in the platform. Future continuous and future perfect. How do they work? Study this example situation. These people are standing in a line to get into the movie theater. Okay. These are the people right now. I apologize for the low resolution, but yeah, these are the people standing in line to get into the movie theater. Now, half an hour from now, de aquí a media hora, right? The cinema will be full. Everyone will be watching the film. So in 30 minutes, everybody will be in the movie theater. They will be inside and they will be watching the movie. Okay. This is future continuous and you use it for an action in progress in a specific moment in the future. What is the specific moment in the future? In this case, half an hour from now in 30 minutes. In 30 minutes, everyone, everyone sorry, will be watching the film. It's an action in progress in the future. But what happens uh, in the next part of the situation? Three hours from now, that means three hours later, the cinema will be empty. Nobody will be there. Why? Because in three hours, the film will have finished. Everyone will have gone home. This is future perfect when you want to indicate that an activity will be complete by a specific moment in the future. Ya en tres horas, todos se van a haber ido a su casa y la película ya habrá terminado. Una acción que ya concluyó en un momento específico del futuro. Más bien, que concluirá más bien, o que ya habrá terminado. So that's future continuous and future perfect. Now, these are just some introductory examples. We have to study the grammar in detail. Now, take a look. Future continuous. You know that there is present continuous. There is, well, present continuous is for an action in progress in this moment. Past continuous is for an action in progress in a specific moment in the past. And now we have future continuous, which is about an action in progress in a specific moment in the future. So when you say, I will be doing something, that's future continuous, I will be in the middle of doing it. And you have some examples, two examples right here. Who can help me read them, please? I need volunteers. Who can help me read the examples? Alejandra Magaña, let's do this. Alejandra? Uh, yeah, but I can see. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm showing the wrong. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I hadn't okay. noticed. This time next week, I'll be on vacation. I'll be lying on the beach or swimming in the sea. 
Mm -hmm. And the you second have no chance of getting the job. You'll be wasting your time if you apply. Yeah, that's correct. This time, thank you, Alejandra. This time next year, I'll be on vacation. I'll be lying on the beach or swimming in the sea. Entonces, ¿qué dice acá? A esta hora, la siguiente semana, o sea, el jueves a las 8 de la noche, 8 y 10 de la noche, esta persona va a estar en la playa. No sé qué estaría haciendo esa hora, pero ahí va a estar. Entonces, es un momento específico en el futuro. Y en ese momento específico en el futuro, esta persona va a estar haciendo algo. Es decir, una actividad que no ha concluido en ese momento, una actividad en progreso, en un momento específico del, del futuro. So, look at this. This time, next week, I'll be on vacation. I'll be lying on the beach or swimming in the sea. I will be lying. I will be swimming. That's future continuous. The second example is, you have no chance, no opportunity to get the job. You'll be wasting your time if you apply. Now, I want you to compare and take a look at this just a moment. Okay, I want you to compare will be doing and will do. Examples. Don't phone between 7 and 8 because between 7 and 8 will be eating. ¿Qué pasaría si usted le dice a alguien, mira, te voy a llamar a las en la noche? Pero usted dice, hey, pero yo tengo clase de inglés, ¿verdad? Entonces, ¿qué le va a decir usted a esa persona? Hey, don't phone between eight and nine. I will be studying English. Okay? That means an action in progress in the future. But let's take a look at this. Let's wait for Liz to arrive, and then we will eat. Now, we're not talking about an action in progress in this case. We're talking about the future only. Let's wait for Liz to arrive, and when she arrives, then we will eat. Two different situations right there. Now I want you to compare this. I Just a moment ago, I mentioned present continuous, past continuous, and future continuous. I'm going to give you three examples right now. Look, at 10 o'clock yesterday, Tina was in her office. She was working. Past continuous. You use the past continuous for an action in progress in a specific moment in the past. And what is this specific moment? At 10 o'clock yesterday. That means probably she began at, at 7 or 8, and probably she finished at 11. So at 10 o'clock yesterday, Tina was in her office. She was working. Now, second example. It's 10 o'clock now. Tina is in her office. She is working. That is present continuous. We use the present continuous to talk about an action in progress right now. And now it's 10 o'clock, according to the example, right? Like, well, if you want to change this to a real life setting, um, you can say, I am working right now. Okay, I am teaching how to use the future continuous. Um, I am speaking. I am talking to an audience. So those are activities that I'm doing right now. The point of reference is the present. So that's present continuous. And finally, we have this future continuous. At 10 o'clock tomorrow, that's a time in the future, a specific moment in the future. At 10 o'clock tomorrow, Tina will be in her office. She will be working. Will be working is future continuous. Okay, she will be working. So if you notice, present continuous is working. Past continuous was working. Future continuous will be working. OK? Now, we also use the future continuous to talk about complete actions in the future. It's possible to use it like this. Examples. The government will be making a statement about the crisis later today. Later in the show, I'll be talking to the Minister of Education. And sorry, this is minor case. Need to correct it. Okay. And finally, the team's star player is injured and won't be playing in the game on Saturday. So when we use it in this way, the future continuous is similar to the future simple. 
Now that's future continuous. We also need to study the future perfect. What is the future perfect? It's this right here. When you say, I will have done something, that's future perfect. That means it will be complete before a time in the future. And you have some examples. The first one is, Sally always leaves for work at 8.30 in the morning. All the time, every morning, she leaves for work at 8.30. So she won't be at home at 9 o'clock. She will have gone work, gone to work. ¿Qué quiere decir? Ya para las nueve, ella ya se habrá ido al trabajo. Es una acción que va a estar completa o terminada en un momento específico del futuro. La diferencia entre future perfect y future continuous es que las dos se refieren a un especi momento específico en el futuro. Pero future continuous, cuando estamos ocupando future continuous, la acción está en progreso, no ha terminado. Y cuando ocupamos future perfect, la acción ya va a haber terminado para ese momento. So, a second example, we're late. The film will already have started by the time we get to the movie theater. Para cuando lleguemos al cine, la película ya va a haber comenzado. Es decir, eso va a suceder antes que nosotros lleguemos. Complete action before a specific moment in the future. Now let's compare, take a look. Ted and Amy have been married for 24 years. This is present perfect because it's an action that is completed before now. Next year, they will have been married for 25 years. El siguiente año, ellos habrán estado casados por 25 años. That means an action that will be complete before a specific moment in the future. That's future perfect. And when their son was born, they had been married for three years. Cuando su hijo nació, ellos habían estado casados por tres años. Now that's past perfect to indicate that an action occurred or happened or was completed before a specific moment in the past. That's the thing. But that's not all. We also need to study the structure. But before we go there, give me a second. Okay, yeah. What is the structure here? Future continuous and future perfect. Future continuous. You need to use the subject. If it's affirmative, you say will be. If it's negative, won't be. And then the verb in ing. Example, everyone will be watching the film. I apologize for the noise. So everyone will be watching the film. Okay, second example. Oops, this is not, give me a second. What's the order of animations here? Que extraño. What's going on? Ah, I get it. Can you give me a second, please? I need to change something here. This should be. Number three or five, six. Okay, let's see if it works now. Yeah, okay. So subject will be, won't be, and then the verb in ing. We won't be watching the film. That's negative. Future perfect, the structure is subject plus will have or won't have, and then a verb in past participle. Be very careful right there. You need to use a verb in past participle. If it is future continuous, you will use will be or won't be and the verb in ing. For future perfect, you will use will have or won't have and the verb in past participle like this. They will have been married for three years next month. Okay. And they won't have finished the report by them. That's pretty much the structure. Just remember, once again, right? For future continuous, you need to use the subject plus will be if it's affirmative or won't be if it's negative, and then the verb in ing. For future perfect, you need to use the subject plus will have 
if it's affirmative, or won't have if it's negative, and then a verb in past participle. Cuidado de no confundir unos con otros, okay? Be careful right there. Before we continue, do you have any questions about the structure or the use of these uh, two tenses? Josué Isaías. Uh, teacher, uh, we can use uh, shall instead of will. Uh, yes, you can use shall instead of will, but it's archaic. That means it's it's all use of English. The thing is, shall now is a little bit different. Take a look. I'm going to give you some examples. Yeah, it is true. Shall basically means will. However, this is old usage. Okay. Hoy en día, cuando usted dice shall, es más que todo para pedir autorización o permiso. O por lo menos que le digan que no hay problema con algo. Por ejemplo, si usted dice, shall I open the window? Es como que dijera, ah, qué calor, ¿verdad? Abro la ventana. Si le dicen, sí, sí, abrila. Ok, la abro. Si alguien le dice, no, mejor así déjala porque ah, entonces no la abro. Ok, más que todo así se ocupa shall hoy en día. Pero sí, en ciertos, ciertos contextos se puede utilizar shall en lugar de will. Originalmente ese era el significado. I do not uh, recommend using shall for future continuous. We shall be doing this, we shall be doing that. It's possible, but people don't talk like that. Okay, so mm -hmm. in the end, I don't recommend it. They will understand, that's for sure, but they don't talk like that. Okay, then we're going to do some exercises. Now let's take a look at this. This, this exercise can be a bit confusing. So we're probably going to go over breakout rooms for this, okay? Because I want you to work together. So what is this? Read about Andy, then choose the sentences which are true. In each group of sentences, at least one is true. So you have one, two, three, four, five, six groups of sentences. In each of the groups, you need to select at least one. At least one is correct. But in some cases, two may be correct. No more than two, okay? One or two. So let's read the situation. Andy goes to work every day. He leaves home at eight o'clock and arrives at work at about 8.45. He starts work immediately, immediately, I'm sorry, and continues until 12.30 when he has lunch, which takes about half an hour. That means he finishes at one. He starts work again at 1.15 and goes home at, home at exactly 4.30. Every day he follows the same routine and tomorrow will be no exception. That means he did the same yesterday and he will do the same thing tomorrow. So based on this information, I want you to take a look at all the groups of sentences and I want you to select the ones that are true. We're going to do the first group together as an example. Take a look, number one. At 7.45, este es el punto de partida. Este es el momento en el futuro en el cual nos vamos a basar. So at 7.45, he'll be leaving the house. He will have left the house. He will be home. He will be at home. He will be having breakfast. Which of these sentences is or are correct? You need to check this information here. Alejandra Magaña. Uh, I think the letter C and the letter D. Letter C and letter D. Let's check. Letter C is correct. Letter D is also correct. Very good. Thank you, Alejandra. Those are the right answers. Why is that? Take a look. If you go back to the text, Andy goes to work every day. He leaves home 
at eight o'clock. Okay, he leaves home at eight o'clock. So at 7.45, this is before he leaves home. He will be leaving the house? No, because he leaves at eight. He will have left the house? No, because he leaves at eight. So it cannot be completed before eight. He'll be at home? Yes, this is true, because he leaves at eight. Before that, he's in his house. He'll be having breakfast? Okay. Quite possibly, okay, I don't think they mentioned this here, but quite possibly he'll be having breakfast. Okay, so letter C and letter D, those are correct. Okay, just a moment ago, I said we will work on breakout rooms, but we are we don't have much time. So probably we're not going to work on the breakout rooms after all. Um, I want you to take a look at the sentences and choose the one or the ones that are correct in each group. Remember, sometimes there's only one and in some other occasions there are two. So what about number two? At 8.15, A, he'll be leaving the house. B, he will have left the house. C, he'll have arrived at work. Or D, and or D, he'll be arriving at work. So who wants to try? Remember, you have to take into consideration the text in the box. That's the key. That's the key information that you need to do this exercise. Who wants to try? Alejandra. Okay, but Alejandra, you participated the last time. I mean, it's, it's, it's great. I love it. I love it that you participate, but, but I want to, to give more people the opportunity. But thank you very much. Thank you so much. Que si no solo lo mismo van a participar y los demás se quedan ahí como, quiero ver, hay que participar otro. Yo, no, no, veamos, todos vamos ahí. Okay, Manuel Aristides, number two. Uh, maybe letter, letter C. Letter C. Let's analyze this. Letter C says, he will have arrived at work. ¿Qué indica esto? This is future perfect. Future perfect nos indica que una actividad ya va a estar hecha o completada, o completa, como queramos decirlo, antes de un momento específico. Pero si nos vamos al texto, dice, Andy goes to work every day. He leaves home at 8 o'clock and arrives at work at 8.45. Hasta las 8.45 llega él. Por lo tanto, a las 8 y 15, todavía no habrá llegado. That means it cannot be letter C. Oh, letter D. Letter D. Letter D. He will be arriving at work. That's an action in progress in a specific moment in the future. But at 8.15, if he arrives at work at 8.45, and our point of reference is 8.15. Will he be arriving at work at 8.15 or not? Maybe Jenny Sanchez can help us. Letter A, he will be leaving the house. He will be leaving the house. Let's see, this is uh, future continuous for an action in progress in a specific moment in the future, but it's 8.15. According to the information, he leaves home at 8. Se va a las 8. Así que a las 8 y 15. He will have left the house. He will have left the house. This is the right answer. At 8.15, he will have left the house. This is a completed action before a specific moment in the past. Como él se va a las 8, Así que a las 8 y 15 ya se habrá ido. Ya va de camino. Pero no ha llegado aún porque llega hasta las 8.45. He will have left the house. It's present perfect continuous to indicate that an action will be completed before a specific moment in the future. So, is that future perfect? I'm sorry. Um, what about number three? Claudia Yanet. 
Let's take a look. At 9.15, 9.15, A, he will be at work. B, he will start work. C, he'll have started work. Or D, he will be arriving at work. Which one or which ones are correct? Layer A, he'll be working. He'll be working. That's correct. Very good. Because he arrives at 8.45, so that means that at 9.15, yeah, he'll be working, right? Good. Only that one? Okay, what Claudia and Ed said is, is true, okay? The first one is correct, but there is another one. Maybe letter C. That is also correct. Very good. He will have started work. Ya habrá comenzado a trabajar. O ya habrá comenzado el trabajo. That is correct. Very good. Very good. Okay, thank you. What about number four? Lilian Estela, okay. And then uh, Jenny Sánchez, Jenny Sánchez ya participó. <laughs> Thank you, Jenny. Thank you very much. Okay, but I want more people to participate. I love it. I love it that you participate. Okay, let's see. Uh, at 12.45, okay, 12.45. He'll you be have, having lunch. He'll be having lunch. Yes. That is correct. Very good, okay. Because uh, he has lunch at 12.30. So at 12.45, yeah, he'll be having lunch. Va a estar almorzando. Okay. Only that one, Lilian? Yes. Are you sure? Oh, because until yeah, he'll have finished, he have started. No, I guess it's only that. Only that one. There's uh -huh. another one. Maybe Josue Isaias can... Maybe Josué can help us. A letter, a letter D. Letter D. He'll have started his lunch. That is correct. Okay, very good. He'll have started his lunch. That's right. Because he starts lunch at 12.30, so he will have started his lunch. El habrá comenzado a almorzar. So Lilian and Josué, that is correct. Okay, those answers are correct. So thank you very much. What about number five? Jose Luis, this one is yours. Number five. At four, A, he will have finished work. B, he will finish work. C, he will be working. Or D, he won't have finished work. Which one or which ones are correct? I think letter C and letter D are correct. And I agree. Good. Letter C and letter D are correct. He'll be working because he goes home at 4.30. So before that, at 4, he will be working. Él va a estar trabajando esa hora. He won't have finished work. No habrá terminado de trabajar para las 4. Va a terminar a las 4 y media. So he won't have finished work. That is correct. Thank you, Jose Luis. Those answers are good. And the last one, who wants to try? Yeah, jueves ya siento el cansancio, ¿verdad? Okay, so um, now if it's difficult for you, it's also difficult for me. Okay, believe me, I, I am sleepy right now. I want to go. I want to go to my bed and sleep. Okay, but I have work to do, so let's do this. Number six, who wants to try? Let's do this. Alguien que no me haya participado para este ejercicio. Paola Maria. Hello, Paola. Number six, at 4.45, A, he will leave work. B, he will be leaving work. C, he will have left work. Or D, he will have arrived home. Which one or which ones are correct? Letter C, hell have left work. That is correct. Very good. Thank you, Paola. That's the right answer. He will have left work. That's it. Porque se va a las cuatro y media, así que a las cuatro cuarenta y cinco ya se habrá ido. Okay? He will have left work. That's right. And only that one. 
Very good. Now, this is a multiple choice exercise. It's time for us to do something a bit more serious. Okay, one thing is to select the answer and another one is to formulate the answer. And that's what we're going to do right now. Just remember the structure because the next exercise is all about structure. Future continuous use, continuous, I'm sorry, uses will be, and if it's negative, won't be, and the verb in ing. Future perfect uses will have or won't have, and the verb in past participle. Okay, very important. Now, next exercise. Give me a moment, please. Uh, which one is it? No, it's not this one. Uh, it's this one. Okay. Okay, no problem. Okay, uh, next exercise. Now, put the verb into the correct form. Future continuous, like we'll be doing or future perfect will have done. La clave es esta. Ambas se refieren a un momento específico en el futuro. Si la acción está en progreso, es decir, que está sucediendo en ese momento en el futuro, van a ocupar future continuous. Si la acción ya terminó antes de ese momento en el futuro, van a ocupar future perfect, just will have done. Number one, who wants to try? Se reinicia, los que ya participaron en el anterior pueden volver a participar nuevamente. <laughs> okay, so who wants to try? Number one. Oh, ya no quieren. <laughs> okay, number one, who wants to try? Alejandra. Okay, Alejandra. Uh, don't phone between seven and eight. We will be having dinner then. We will be having dinner then. Correct. An action in progress in a specific moment in the future. Very good. Thank you, Alejandra. Number two, who wants to try? Number two, Lilian. Find me after eight o'clock. We will have, have, have dinner by then. Uh, the, the verb is finished. Okay. Uh, we, we, uh, we have. We, we will have. We will have finished. Chef. Dinner. Okay. Yo puse, we will have, have, I'm sorry. Yo corrigiéndole y yo cometí ese error también. <laughs> okay. I'm sorry. I apologize. But yeah. Okay. We will have finished dinner by then. That's the right one. Good. Thank you, Lillian. Very good. Uh, number three, who wants to try? I'm going to save the file. Josue Isaías, then Jenny Sanchez, then Olivia. Josue, you go for number three, Jenny, number four, and Olivia, number five. Isaías, please. Tomorrow afternoon, we're going to play tennis from three o'clock until uh, four and a half. Four thirty. So at, uh, yeah. four, four thirty, <laughs> sorry. Okay, uh -huh. four, uh, so at uh, four o'clock, um, we be will be a uh, we will be playing tennis we will be playing tennis yeah so at four o'clock we will be playing tennis that is correct thank you josue number four jenny sanchez can we meet tomorrow yes but not in the afternoon i will be working I will be working. Okay, that is correct. Thank you, Jenny Sanchez. Olivia Osorio, number five. Now, before we do number five, you have to read the situation. B, o sea, la persona B, B has to go to a meeting which begins at 10 o'clock. It will last about an hour. So that means that at 11, it will have finished or it will finish. So again, letter B has a meeting from 10 to 11. Okay, so uh, Olivia Osorio, will you be free at 11.30? Yes. Uh, yes. Uh, I, meeting. I, I will the meeting. Careful, careful. I, the, the subject is the meeting, not I. So the meeting will? Uh, yes. The meeting will, will have by then. Uh, le faltó el verbo. Will have? 
will have a meeting and okay the, the meeting will have the meeting will have ends ended right past ended. participle the by meeting then. will have ended by then. Mm -hmm. La reunión ya habrá terminado para ese entonces. Porque va de 10 a 11. Y le están diciendo si va a estar libre a las 11 y media. Entonces sí, le dice. Ya la reunión ya habrá terminado para ese, para ese momento. The meeting will have ended by then. Ok. Thank you, Olivia. Number six. Who wants to try? Astrid Michelle. Ben is on vacation and he is spending his money very quickly. If he continues like this, he will be spending all his money before the end of this vacation. He will be spending. Mm, are you sure? If he continues like this, he blah, 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 all his money before the end of his vacation. The key word right here is before. I will have. Uh -huh. Spend. What's the past participle of spend? It's an irregular verb. Spent. Spent. So? I don't know. No, I don't remember. Spent. It's actually spent. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. So you have the verb spend. The past form is spent. Past participle is also spent. So here's this is the one we need. Spent. So um, again, right, Ben is on vacation and he is spending his money very quickly, right? He's buying a lot of things. And he goes to nice restaurants and, you know, expensive places. If he continues like this, he, once again. He will have spent all his money before the end of, of his vacation. Correct. He will have spent all his money before. La palabra before es la clave. Significa sucede antes de ese momento. So, o más bien, sucederá antes de ese momento. He will have spent all his money before the end of his vacation. Si sigue así, se va a haber gastado todo el dinero antes que termine la vacación. That is correct. Thank you, Astrid Michelle. Number seven. Who wants to try? Number seven. Nobody wants to try, come on. Carlos Alfredo, and then Alejandra Magaña. Okay, Carlos. Uh, do you think you will still do, be, be doing the same job in 10 years time? Yeah. Do you think you will still be doing the same job in 10 years time? Mm -hmm. That's correct. Thank you, Carlos. Who wants the next one? Alejandra, I believe she wanted to participate. Okay. So okay. I read all the, all the number eight. Well, uh, because of the time, I'm just going to go quickly. Lisa is from New Zealand. She is traveling around Europe at the moment. So far, she has traveled about a thousand miles. Now, Alejandra. Mm -hmm. By the end of the trip, he would have traveled more than 3,000 miles. By the end of the trip, she will have traveled more than 3,000 miles. Al final del viaje, habrá recorrido, digámoslo así, más de 3,000 millas. She will have traveled more than 3,000 miles. Thank you, Alejandra. That's correct. Number nine, volunteers. Let's do this. Number nine. Paola. If you need to contact me, I will I will be staying staying at the Leon stay at the Leon Hotel until Friday. Mm -hmm. If you need to contact me, I will be staying at the Lion Hotel until Friday. That is correct. Thank you, Paola. Very good. Number 10, the last one who wants to try. Number 10. Who wants to try number 10? 
Nobody wants to try number 10. Come on. Vamos. Sin miedo al éxito ni al fracaso. Gladys Imelda. Let me try and... Will you see a lot of more? Will you see is possible. However, um, the exercise is about using future continuous or future perfect. So... Um, it's only one or the other. Okay. So... I'm out. <laughs> okay, no problem. Okay, because of the time, let's go over the answer right here. It is, will you be seeing Laura tomorrow? Say, yes, probably. Why? I borrowed this book from her. Can you give it back to her, please? So there you go. Very good. Now we're going to do the next exercise, which is the knowledge check number 5.8. What is it all about? Complete these predictions with the correct verb forms. More than one answer is possible. Then compare with a partner. So what are you going to use? You have to use will plus the verb, which is future simple, uh, future continuous, or future perfect, okay? And you have this exercise in the platform. So you, you probably have done this. So number one, in 10 years, in 10 years, I'm sorry, flights from New York to Tokyo, what do you have? Mm -hmm. Este es el mismo ejercicio del, de la plataforma. Es el knowledge check 5.8. ¿Quién me puede ayudar con la primera? In 10 years, flights from New York to Tokyo. Uh -huh. Will be taking? Will be taking less than two hours. I guess it's possible, but because this is a prediction, it's better to just use the simple form, just will and the verb. So it's more will like take. will take, mm -hmm. exactly. In 10 years, flights from New York to Tokyo will take more less than two hours, okay? So if it's a prediction, you use will and the verb, simple as that. Okay, so um, what about number two? Wants to try. Alejandra. Uh, soon they will sell computers. Yeah. Can play perfectly in one language to another. Yeah, soon they will sell or soon they will be selling computers that can translate perfectly from one language to another. That is correct. Thank you, Alejandra. Good. Number three. Who wants to try? Carlos Alfredo. By the middle of the 21st century, scientists will have discovered the way to prevent aging. Aging, mm -hmm. la vejez. Aging. Yeah, that's right. Or el envejecimiento. By the end, by the middle of the 21st century, scientists will have discovered a way to prevent aging. That's good. Thank you, Carlos. What about number four? Jasmine Vanessa. Um, sometime in the future, scientists will invent a machine that transmits all tools. Sometime in the future, scientists, you can say, will invent, o sea, se inventarán, will be inventing, que sería lo mismo, se inventarán, and will have invented, o se habrán inventado, porque no sabemos si es en ese momento o antes, no tenemos suficiente información para saberlo. Así que las tres se valdrían aquí. Scientists will invent, scientists will be inventing, or scientists will have invented the machine that transmits our thoughts. 
Good. Thank you, Jasmine. Number five who wants to try. Number five. Number five. Nobody. Paula Maria and then Jose Luis for number six. Or Ever de Jesus for number six. Not sure. Okay. So Paola. Within five fifty years, people will live on the moon. Yeah, within fifty years, people will live or will be living is also possible. Okay, on the moon. Very good, Paola. Thank you. And number six, um, I saw a couple of people raising their hands. Who wants to try? Jose Luis. Okay, number six. In less than a century, global warming will have melt most of Love the polar ice caps in many coastal cities we have disappeared that is correct thank you Jose Luis in less than a century global warming will have melted most of the polar ice caps and many coastal cities will have disappeared that's right very good that's great that is excellent Okay, now I had a couple extra exercises, but because of the time, we're probably going to stop right there. Now, um, we have one more thing to do, and that is we need to go and check. Oops, it's this. We need to go and, uh, yeah, yeah, no, that's right. Over here. Uh, the final exam, okay, the final test. So I believe you have worked on this. Creería que ya todos trabajaron en esto porque en teoría ya tendría que estar subido. Okay. Pero vamos acá. There's the listening part. Listen to the conversation and select the correct answer. We're just going to listen to it and then you tell me the answers. Hope it's not very long. Listen to the conversation. Ah, oh, sorry, wrong device. Let me check. This one right here. Okay, let me know if you can hear it. Check the correct answers. Can you hear that? Yes, teacher. Okay. Hello. One. Ugh, Frank. I really need to get in shape, but I'm having trouble deciding what's the best plan for me. Well, what about going to the community swimming pool, Sandy? It's a nice pool and just down the street from your place. Actually, I've tried that already and it didn't work for me. I was too tired to swim after working all day. Then why don't you join that new fitness center near your office? You could go during your lunch hour. I don't know. I've joined gyms before and I always stop going for one reason or another. They're a waste of money if you're a member but never go. Well, then, I think you've got a predicament. Two. Hey, Sandy, what about getting a personal trainer? Hmm, I never thought of that before. A trainer can help you in two ways. You know, help you get in better shape and keep you motivated. Well, do you know where I can find one? You can probably find ads for trainers on the web. Sure, but I'd rather get a recommendation, you know, from someone who's had one. Oh, I just remembered. My cousin Rachel had a trainer and she really thought he was great. I remember. Then she ran in the Boston Marathon. Amazing. I'll get her number from you then. Three. Hey, Pam, did you see those photos that were sent from the two rovers on Mars? Yes, isn't it exciting? I love space exploration. Me too, but a lot of it happened before I was born, back in 1985. How long have we been exploring space? Well, the so-called space race really began during the early 1960s, when I was a kid. And ever since, 
I've really been fascinated by space travel and exploration. Yeah, but I think space travel is finished for now, don't you? Oh, no, Jerry. The future holds a lot of possibilities for space research and travel, and who knows? Etc. So. Four. Ah, four, sorry. Well, Pam, do you think by 2050 we will have set up human communities on Mars? Probably not. But perhaps by then people will have bought land on the moon and started building homes on it. No, really? Yes. And those little rovers will be continuing to perform their research on Mars and other planets, too. Scientists will be able to use even bigger robots to do almost anything, like building cities in space. I guess you're right. Just think of our International Space Station. Yes, I think that robots and astronauts will be performing amazing things in the future. Okay. So, second, all right, so the first one, Sandy wants to meet new people, Frank suggests, what does he suggest? Gladys? Joining a new fitness center. Correct. Sandy can get a recommendation for a personal trainer. From whom? From Frank's cousin, Rachel. From Frank's cousin, Rachel, that's correct. Number three, Jerry thinks that space travel is finishes for now. It's finished for now, he says, okay. And number four, Pam thinks people will build homes on the moon. People will build homes on the moon. That is right. Okay, there you go. Part two, correct the mistake. Uh, instructions, correct the mistake in each sentence or question. You need to type in the correct new sentence. Do not forget capitals and periods or question marks. So do you know where can I get someone to cut my hair? What is the correct form? Do you know where I can get someone to cut my hair? Do you know where I can get someone to cut my hair? Okay, correct. What about number two? Eh, veamos, pero me gustaría también que, que, que los demás me dijeran respuestas también porque <ríe> solo Gladys me está diciendo todas. Okay, vamos. I'm sorry. No, no, no hay ningún problema. No hay ningún problema. Eh, lo que sí quisiera que los demás también se, se animaran. Vamos. Number two, you can have your car fixed. By the way, this is very small. You can have uh, your car fixed at an auto repair shop. What is the correct form? You can have your car fixed at an auto repair shop. You can have your car fixed with ED, okay, like this. Fixed at an auto repair shop. Good. Number three, do you know where Eliza can have her driver's license renewed? Renew with. Renewed, ED, correct, okay? As you can see, it goes with ED because it needs a past participle. Thank you. Number four, you can get your leather boot shines at Joe uh, Joe's shoe shop. You can get your leather boot shined at Joe's shoe shop. Shined. Okay, good. You can get your leather boots shined. So you can see here. Shined, past participle, at Joe's shoe shop. Part two. Okay, instructions. Choose the correct three word phrase or verb. Thank you for. Is it looking forward to coming up with or getting along with? Just me, Vanessa? Um, coming up with. Coming up with a great solution to my problem. Good. Number two, that is correct. Thank you, Jasmine. Sam had to get a science tutor. He couldn't. He couldn't. He that with. 
keep up with. That is correct. Okay, he couldn't keep up with. No podía seguirle el ritmo a los otros compañeros. Good. And the last one, Michelle has. What has Michelle done? Just me, Vanessa? Cut down on. Cut down on. Ha reducido el consumo. Michelle has cut down on sugar and fat. She's lost over 50, 15 pounds. There you go. Put up with. Hey, ¿por qué me sale esto? Keep up with. I'm sorry. Maybe I chose wrong. Okay. So, um, good. Let's continue. Complete the sentences. Here we go. Now, um, instructions, complete the suggestions for possible solutions. Paige smartphone is dead and she can't figure out how to get it to work again. You only need to type the correct form of the verbs given in brackets, infinitive or gerund. So it might be a good idea. Por cuestión de tiempo, pueden participar directamente, no es necesario levantar la mano. It might be a good idea. To check up. To check out. Okay, a website discussion group. Number two, one thing she could do is. To try. To try. Not exactly. In this case, well, you have to. Yeah, you can use to try. It's true. You can use try or to try. Both are possible. I have try or to try is also possible. Yeah, that's right. I'm sorry. Number three, what about. Bringing. What about bringing, okay, it to a cell phone repair shop? Part two, instructions, complete the sentences with ago, during, for, from, in, over, since, or to. Just type the word, no capital letters or periods are needed. So Vincent van Gogh died in 90, 80, 1890, more than 100 years ago. 100 years ago. Disco was a popular form of music. From. from from 1978 to 1980. Number three, spinning was a popular type of exercise in, in the 2000s. And number four, people have been using home computers since, since the 1980s. Part three, complete the predictions with will, the future continuous, the future perfect. Just type the verb in its correct tense. Do not type the entire sentence. So sophisticated robots, and then you have replace. Many factory workers in the near future. What do you have? Will replace. Will replace, Will replace, replace. is correct. Okay. Number two, tablet computers. Will be used. Will be used in every home. Correct. Number three, you. Won't be. You won't need a keyboard because they will all be touch screen activated. Number four, later in this century, people. Won't live. Won't live. Won't be, uh, won't be living, more like it. Won't, okay. be won't be living in houses that are heated with oil. And number five, within 50 years, scientists. We have. We have will have discovered a cure for the common cold. There you go. All correct. And finally, we have the reading part, which is read the ads, then check for true or false statements. Very quickly. I believe it's very small. So the Blaster 620. Blaster 620 is a new cell phone that will be able to do almost everything a user wants. It has instant messaging, a built-in camera, games, and the ability to send and receive digital files. Of course, you can also use it to make phone calls. Yeah, it's a smartphone, technically. It's perfect for people who will be typing a lot of text messages. It has a tiny keyboard that folds out when you need it. Cutting edge technology. Going camping? Do you plan to take your cell phone, laptop, MP3 player, or any other electronic device? Here's just the thing you'll need, the solar field. It's a tiny solar panel that you can take with you anywhere. It weighs less than a pound, but it generates plenty of power. Just place it in the sun and plug it in your phone, computer, or other device. What a technological achievement. 
And finally, one of the latest and coolest invention, the eye screen is for you. It looks like a pair of fashionable sunglasses, but when you look through the lenses, you see a small screen about three feet away. You can watch movies and download your favorite music videos. Perfect for traveling in style. So, the blaster has a fold-out keyboard that, uh, for easy typing. True. Yeah. True. This is true according to the text, okay? What about number two? The blaster won't be able to do things like instant messaging. False. False. That's false, okay? The solar feed must be plugged into an electrical socket. False. It's false, okay, because it's uh, solar powered. Number four, the solar feed can keep your MP3 batteries recharged in the wilderness. It's true. True. This is true. Okay, that's the idea. Number five, the ice cream is just a fancy pair of sunglasses. False. false. It's false. It can do a lot of things. And number six, you can watch your favorite videos while wearing the ice cream. True or false? True. Yeah. That's true. We send all correct. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, we finish. That's the end of the evaluation. Si no lo han terminado, por favor, terminen ahora, aunque yo creo que ya tendría que estar hecho todo, ¿verdad? Everybody, um, thank you for uh, everything this course. Um, I had a good time. I hope you had a good time and that you learned too. And uh, that would be it for me for this level. Maybe in the future, we will be seeing each other, right? You see, future continues. So uh, for now, I'm sorry? I hope you that hope so. <laughs> we meet. Okay, yeah, thank you. Thank I hope you. so too. Okay. Um all right, everybody, thank you very much. Remember, no class tomorrow. This is the last class of this level. Okay, so you have <laughs> to wait until the next one. Um thank you and good night. It was thank a great you for all, teacher. Good night. Thank you. Thank you, teacher. Thank you. <laughs>